everybody! Today I'm going to show you how I make my pumpkin and freeze it so that I can use all my pumpkin recipes all year long. It is a great cost saving idea and I don't have to buy canned pumpkin anymore. Now pumpkins come in all different sizes and shapes. This is a really good pumpkin because it's small and it's pretty heavy for its size. So I know that it's going to have a lot of pumpkin in it and I'll bet it's going to be a really good baking pumpkin too. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how I bake my pumpkin and how I separate it into baggies so that when I go to use a recipe they're so easy and already separated and ready to use. This way you know you have exactly what you're going to need for the recipes that you like to use the most. I'm going to leave my pumpkin bread recipe down below. You're going to need a pumpkin aluminum foil, some freezer bags, a sharpie marker, some cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice, a knife, a couple of baking dishes, one cup measuring cup, a spoon, a bowl to put the insides of the pumpkin in. You're going to need to turn your oven on to 350. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I want to do is pick the pumpkin that I want to use. And I really like this pumpkin. So the next thing I'm going to do is scrub my pumpkin. And I usually get a brush and just scrub all the dirt or anything that's on it because you don't want any kind of germs or anything on your pumpkin. The next thing that I do is I cut my pumpkin in half. Now if you have a bigger pumpkin you're going to have to cut it in several pieces in order to fit it into your pan. Now I don't have a pumpkin uh, knife <laughs> but this one will work and it's usually what I use. So that you could bust it open like that. And that pumpkin looks really good. The next thing I do is I get my spoon and I just scrape out the inside of it. And I usually give this part to my chickens or the seeds are very high in fiber and you can bake your seeds. Now the next thing that I want to do is put seasoning inside my pumpkin. And I use ground cinnamon and I just sprinkle it all around. And if that's all you want to use or that's all you want to season it, you don't even have to season it. And you can bake your pumpkin whole and then scrape out the inside if you wanted. But I like doing it this way because I love to smell the seasoning bake while my pumpkin is baking. So I put a little bit of cinnamon in there and I also put a little bit of pumpkin pie spice and I just sprinkle it around in there. Then I get my pan, I just put a little bit of water in the bottom just to make sure that my pumpkin is not going to dry out. And I take my seasoned pumpkin with my cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice and I turn it upside down and put it in there. If you need to break off the the top you can and there it fits really nicely in there and because it's facing down I don't have to use my foil if I had to cut this in pieces I, like I said I don't like it when my pumpkin gets dried out so I'll put a piece of foil over it if I have to cut it in pieces but since this fits in there quite nicely I don't have to use my foil, I'll just stick it in the oven like this. Now that my oven is up to the temperature that it needs to be, 
I take my pumpkin and I put it in my oven. Now what I'll do in about 40 or 45 minutes is I'll check it and I just take a spoon and I'll just press down on it to see if it's soft. If it's soft, then I, then I know that it's ready to take out and let it cool. The next thing I'm going to do is while my pumpkin is baking, I make up several baggies. So what I'm doing is I'm going to write one cup of pumpkin on my baggie. And then I'll put the year like that. And then I'm going to have a whole stack of baggies that are ready for me for when I'm ready to scoop out my pumpkin out of its shell. And that way I won't have to worry about grabbing my pen and writing things out while my hands are messy. Now that it has cooked for 45 minutes, I'm going to take one of the pumpkins out and I'm going to push on it to see if it's done. Oh, that looks done. See how easy that goes in there? Okay, now I'm going to take them out and then we're going to let them cool. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> now that these are cool, it is time to put it in your bags. So I got the bags that I made up. I got a spoon, I got my pumpkins, and I got my measuring cup. And this is how you do it. So what I do is I just scrape it off the sides and I break it up a little bit. See, I don't take the time to puree it right now. If I have a recipe such as pumpkin pie, I will puree it after I thaw it out. I get my little mixer and I just puree it by the cup. I get my measuring cup and a bag. I open my bag and I measure out one cup. Then I get my bag and I put the cup into the bag like this. And I smush it down flat like this. And I get out all the air and I seal it really, really good. And that way it lays flat like this. Now what I do with this is I take it and I put it in the freezer and I let it freeze flat like this because these won't take up as much room if they're flat. And you can, once they freeze, then you can stick them wherever you want in your freezer. Thanks for joining me while I made my pumpkin today. I hope it encourages you to make pumpkin too. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Mmm, there's nothing better than a cup of tea and a piece of pumpkin bread. This pumpkin bread is so good. Mmm. Pumpkins.